Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you really quick how to um, put an image into a shape. So if it's an unpadded file, an unpadded Tumblr, you can just drop it into a shape. So in this shape, it, I have already removed the background, so it's just a hexagon shape. I'm doing it on these. Um, I don't know how to mirror my computer or anything like that yet. So once I figure that out, then you guys will actually be able to see better. So I'm just kind of going to walk you guys through um, how to do it until I figure all of that out. But so I pulled a hexagon shape off of the internet. I removed the background on it. I sized this to 7.15 by 6.15 high so it's a little bit bigger than what the um, actual shape is so I pulled one that has a color in the background if you pull one that just has the outline the only thing that's gonna color when you drop into your image um, or if you drop in an image I'm gonna subtract on this one but um, is the outline that's it so the inside will remain um, white. So what I'm going to do is I am going to subtract a, an image onto this one. So what I did is I brought this into it. I removed the background. I'm going to go into my files and I'm going to pull this teal bubble background and I'm going to pull this up. So if I was able to drop it because it was an unpadded file, this one is a padded file so I can't just drop it into place because it wants to cut off the edges on it. So if I select this, I'm going to make this bigger than what my shape is. So I'm going to do the 7.25, we'll see if that's big enough, um, by 6.25. We're going to drop it over. Nope, it needs to go a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to pull my corners out and you'll see that it's bigger. So what I'm going to do is I want this image to be inside of that hexagon shape. So I am going to highlight all of this I'm trying to do this so it's easy for everybody to follow I'm gonna go over here to my side on silhouette it says open the modify panel so it's the one two three four five six seven eight nine it's the tenth um, bar down so if you go over to your right toolbar it's the tenth icon down so you're gonna click on to that um, and you can either hit intersect or subtract so you'll see if I hit intersect it just took everything off. So it just made that sh that image into this shape. So it's there. So you just did that with a padded um, file. So I just made it bigger and I just intersected it. So you could do this um, if you're doing um, circles or for um, coasters or anything like that. That'll work because you're going to pull your image so if you have a template for um, the car coasters with the notch or something like that you can pull your image and you can intersect it so all I did was just highlight the two and hit intersect and it made that into that image so this is exactly what I wanted it to do so now I can add whatever I want onto this image um, on this one specific I'm actually gonna do this as a, pl a pay me plaque so I am gonna put so that's what it'll look like I'm going to put QR codes on here um, so people can pay this person when they're at a vendor show. So if you have any questions on how to do this, um, just put a comment into it. But this is a very simple way on how to get your image inside of a specific shape. Hope that helps everybody. Thanks, guys.